All right, so let's get started. We're going to show you the techniques on the dummy, the dummy form. We're just going to do the first nine moves here. So we're going to start with our stance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that's nine moves. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so those are the nine moves, and we're going to show you how to use that in a fighting application. All right, move number one. This is the raising of the arm. Now, it looks like it's a punch, but actually it's also a deflection. If we come over this way, I'm actually deflecting this with my forearm as I'm reaching out and punching in the middle. So, if you do it properly, make sure that your arm is in this position, not in this position. Because if in this position, you're not going to be deflecting anything. Make sure your arm is like this, and your wrist and your knuckles are facing this way. So that you're deflecting with this part, and then you're hitting with this part. Make sure you're not hitting with this, because you're going to hit with the back of your hand, that's going to hurt, right? You want to hit with your knuckles. So you want to have this angle, and the knuckles going this way. So now that I show you how to do it on a dummy, I'll show you how to do it in your application. Right? So one way to do it is if your hand is low, starts off low, you can use this to deflect his arm and punch him in the, in the middle, in the center. All right? So notice that if I just go like this, keep my arm straight like that, I won't be deflecting anything. He'll punch me, I'll punch him. Okay? That's a bad idea. Okay? So I need to have this deflection so that when I move in at the same time, his arm gets deflected outwards and you punch in the middle. Right? That's very simple. So, this way. Okay? So it's important to start in the middle and you can use it uh, once this hand passes here, you just have to actually walk in and it's going gonna, it's gonna to deflect it uh, already. So you don't actually need to swing it up. Okay? Once, it's, once the hand gets past here, you just need to walk in. And then this triangle deflects this punch past your ear. Alright, so that's the first technique. Alright, move number two. So we have one, and two. Okay, two is actually like two little movements. First of all, you have this. So we're going to sneak this one in the inside, like this, grab behind the neck, and this one will turn and grab here. Okay, why do I say two little moves? Because it's actually reach out and grab and sink at the same time. So it's coming out. That's one, that's like move 2A, and then the 2B would be to sink. Okay, so it's one, so two is reach, sink, reach, sink. So the sink happens all at the same time. You want to combine both the hand and the, the grip here for both hands, to grip the neck and the arm at the same time. Okay, so let's show you how to use it in the uh, real application. All right, so if this is useful when you're in a close range, and you miss, so you're punching with this hand and you miss, and now you grab, right? So you want to grab at the same time, so you get that shock effect. Oh yeah, I'm not going to put flash. Okay, so just be careful with your partner, alright? Um, what you want to do is to get the most damage, hit the back of the head, here, instead of the neck. Okay, so you actually want to hit the back. So I don't want to do it too hard on her, but when there, boom, you see stars, right? So, Okay, so the one way of doing it is to, um, let's say he's punching, right? Use this and then sneak it in like that, and then do that. Okay, so what's why do you want to do this? You don't want to just yank and then just let go. That's not going to do anything, right? So you need to follow up with it. So you need to yank and then use it as a uh, takedown. You gonna see the legs there? Okay, let's do that one more time. So. First of all, I'm in a tight, okay? Keep your shoulders in, right? So you kind of pretend yourself as you go in, all right? This is actually a punch, but it misses, okay? And then you want to use this foot, yank this one arm, and just sweep this foot at the same time, okay? So that's one way of using the technique number two. All right, so there's actually another variation of this, which is different from the Yip Man form, but in some other dummy forms, you see this. So in the Yip Man form, it's like this one, and then this one, right? Well, why would I want to do move one, and then move two to get to his, 
to this position. Why don't I just go from move one, go directly here. It's shorter, right? If I wanted to do a clinch. So let's do that instead. So I deflect. Oh no, I missed him because he slipped my punch. Now I got this, right? Okay. Let's do that again. You missed the camera. Okay. So let's do it again. So I deflect. He, he, he uh, slipped. He slipped. Because I'm smart. So instead of bringing my fist back and punching, why don't I just hit the back of his head? At the same time, we just do a little like this. Boom. Okay, so very nice, nice takedown. Right, so that's another variation on technique number two. Hey, we're here to do number technique three, four, and five together in one application. So remember, we've got one, two, and then three, four, which is just moving and then turning this into a time cell. And five is low bomb. Okay, so that's three, four, five. Let's show you how to use it in a self defense application. All right, three, four, five. So I'm doing the same way. Start with a uh, square stance. We're going to do our long cell. I'm going to do my tan cell, and then I'm going to do my low jump. Okay. So one way to block is to do tan cell, right? Ball cell, sorry. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to do tan cell and then guard this one. I'm not really worried about that one, just wait all the way over there. And then the next one, number four, five, that. Okay, so you see, I've got a lot of power and a lot of structure to be able to push her all the way over there. So um, that means you have a good position. Okay, so one, two, three. So once you get to the guy's side, he has very little balance and you have in a perfect position to do other stuff, right? So, one, two. Now you can move all the way to his back too, if you have enough room. And as you can get better, you can do other stuff, right? You can do other stuff. But let's say you don't only get to his side. Well, one thing to do is to push this one so that it actually turns him a little bit. Okay, so he's facing that way. And you punch him in the back, right in, in, the, in the spine. Okay, so not too much, I'm just going to push. All right, so that's three, four, and five. Another thing you can do, for example, if you don't move that quickly, okay, so if you don't move, you can't stay in the middle, you punch this another one, you can use this time cell, this move number four, right, to guard this one too. And if you try to get you this one, that's okay, just use this one as move number five, okay? So either way, ideally, you can get, right, all the way behind them here, ideally, so let's say you don't get behind them. And make sure you guard both hands, at least this punch too, with this tan cell. Okay? You can, up in this form, you're just gonna hit the ribs here, in the back. So you see, this angle, right? Boom, right here. Okay? Tickly spot. That hurt, man. Tickly spot here. Okay? Easy to break the ribs. So remember in my forms uh, video, you want to hit on the, with the bottom edge of your palm. Okay, that fits perfectly right underneath the ribs here. Okay, you're not actually hitting with uh, the middle of your palm. There's no power with that unless you're like a iron palm. <laughs> okay, but uh, we're just going to press, and it's called yang jiao, which means pressing a stamp, like when you have stamps. Okay, rubber stamps. You want to press it like that. Okay, you want to press it like that. Okay, that's more of a tai chi thing, but uh, it all ends up to be the same place as you. At the end anyway, so, mm -hmm. so when you use that, that actually gives you a little bit more, actually a lot more power, a lot more damage to your opponent. Okay, here we go. Here's the last part of this technique demonstration. We're up to one, two, three, four, five, right? Now we can do six, seven, eight, nine, all the way to the end. So we can do six. My foot comes back up, push from here, six, seven, right? Eight, my foot goes back to this side. Nine, then I do the lower palm on this side. Okay, so let's demonstrate with turning here. All right, so uh, so first one is cancel six, right, and then seven, right, and then I I pass it. I get my foot behind him. Eight, nine, okay, and nice and slow, right? So. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so depending on where your his foot is, you may not need to go around his foot. Okay, so let's just do the last one, right? One, two. Let's say I'm in front of him, right? So let's say I do this uh, six, seven, 
eight, right? My foot's stuck here. Because actually, I like better to do a trip here rather than get it all the way back behind him and push it. Because there's actually not much use for something to be behind him at this point. It's actually better into the, ahead of it. So I, it's, so I like what the form does. I'm just going to keep my foot there. I can just lift it. And then actually he falls even farther. Okay? Forward. So let's show you that one more time. Okay, so one, two, three. And if you do his trip, you can actually get him to do the, the fall. Alright, so that's some nine Wing Chun techniques, dummy techniques, that you can do on a self-defense application. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I am the Wing Chun Kid, and I just show you the nine moves in the first dummy form. All right, what's the dummy form for? It's the combination and the collaboration of the first three Wing Chun forms, Si Ling Tao, Chum Kyu, El Yuji. And then we learn how to use just the first nine. There's 116 moves in this form. All right, we show you a lot of little details, and there's even more we haven't showed you. So if you like this channel, you want to learn more of this stuff, make sure that you subscribe and click this button. And also, if you're serious about learning Wing Chun, Start your trial membership and become a member on my website.